Have you ever pondered what makes a business thrive while others barely survive? Could it be a stroke of luck? Or is there a more structured approach to this success? To answer these questions, we must delve into the fascinating world of management. Management, in its simplest form, is the art of getting things done through others. It's akin to the conductor of an orchestra, coordinating various sections to create a harmonious symphony. Likewise, management harmonizes various resources, such as people, materials, and money to attain the organization's goals. But why is management so crucial? Imagine a ship sailing without a captain or a football team playing without a coach. It's the management that provides direction, maintains efficiency, reduces costs, and most importantly, fosters innovation and creativity. In short, management is the backbone of any successful organization. Now, let's talk about the different levels of management. At the top, we have the strategic level, comprising the board of directors and the chief executive officer. They set the organization's vision and steer the ship towards it. Next comes the middle level, which includes managers and heads of departments. They act as a bridge between the strategic level and the operational level, translating the vision into actionable plans. Finally, at the base, we have the operational level. Here, we find supervisors and team leaders who ensure that these plans are executed effectively. Each of these levels plays a distinct role, but they all work in unison, much like cogs in a well-oiled machine. So what are the key functions of management? There are five of them. Planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. Planning is the process of setting goals and deciding on the best way to achieve them. It's like designing a roadmap for the organization. Organizing involves arranging resources and tasks to meet these goals. Picture this as setting up the chessboard before making the first move. Staffing is about recruiting, selecting, training, and developing the right people for the right job. It ensures that the organization has the right talent to execute its plans. Directing is the act of guiding, leading, and motivating employees to achieve organizational goals. It's the spark that ignites the collective effort towards the goal. Last but not least, controlling involves monitoring the organization's performance and making necessary adjustments to stay on track. It's the radar that keeps the ship on course. To recap, management is the art of coordinating resources to achieve organizational goals. Its importance cannot be overstated as it provides direction, fosters innovation, and ensures efficiency. There are three levels of management, strategic, middle, and operational, each playing a distinct yet interconnected role. The key functions of management are planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. In the grand scheme of things, management is not just about business success. It's about creating value, fostering growth, and making a positive impact on society. So the next time you see a thriving business, remember, it's not just luck, it's good management.